All right, today we are finishing up a Grand Design Reflection solar install. We got 1200 watts on the roof, 800 amp hours of battery. Let's check it out. So inside we have the uh, Lynx distributor and uh, we have, as you'll notice, the light is working there. We always do the uh, special cable that enables that. So if any of these fuses blow, this light will turn red and the fuse that is blown will also turn red to indicate which one you need to replace. We got a uh, four aught cable to all the important bits. Got the shunt here to measure uh, power in and out. For the solar charger, we went with a 150 by 100. The reason for this was we used the existing solar uh, port on this. This RV originally came with a 200 watt Furion setup. So we were able to use that existing solar port and wiring, but we had to get the voltage up to about, uh, we ran, well, we'll talk to that later. We'll, we'll go to the roof and we'll talk about how this is all wired up. Then we also have the Orion Smart Charger for controlling charging from the seven pin, Serbo GX, and of course, Multi Plus uh, three, or Multi Plus two, 3000, two by 120. Great setup here. Then behind this enclosure, we have the batteries. We are running three of the 200 amp hour uh, batteries that we sell with built-in Bluetooth and 200 amp B capable BMS. And then uh, the dealer also had two 100 amp hour lithiums that we've put back here. Got our shutoff fuse, 400 amp, and this disconnect we kept in place for the uh, coach side. So let's go over to the other side. We did a couple upgrades there and then we'll go inside. So over here we have the disconnects or the PV in, PV out with a disconnect. And this is something we added for the customer. This is a 12 volt uh, USB plug so they can run their, uh, their Levelmate Pro through this USB cord here. That was important to them and we have no problem taking care of that. So let's go inside, see what's going on. Here we have the Touch 50 color display. Everything's set up. Currently it's a little cloudy out so we're not getting full 1200 watts, but we're doing pretty well. We're charging. This is 100% because it still needs to charge and that's kind of, uh, that's how we start it. And then it needs to be charged up. And once it goes, once it hits 100% completely full, then it'll track your usage. So we were able to fish tape uh, the HDMI and USB down here and then connect those up to some extensions along with the six by three AC cables that we had to rerun all the way to that front bay. Now these come with pre-wired 30 amp two conductor uh, inverter cabling, but that we can't use it because the MultiPlus is taking over that role. And we also disconnected the converter. That's very important. Grand design reflection. Nice, nice rig. Let's uh, go up top and show you what's going on there. Okay, here's what we did for the layout for the panels. The original panel was here and we've covered, uh, and we were able to match pretty closely the existing mounting areas. So we didn't have uh, extra holes that weren't covered with die core or anything like that. We are running a 3S2P setup. So three, three panels in series, three panels in series, paralleled. And uh, something to note is this connector is not a standard MC4 connector. This is some proprietary Furion thing. So I had to adapt it to normal MC4 connectors. And I had to, uh, the customer kept the old panel and charger. So I did the same thing on those so that could be used with commodity hardware. Uh, but this is the layout that made sense to us. Might be able to get another panel or two up here. I wish they'd condense more of the venting and stuff. You might be able to get more. If really to go anything more than that, you gotta build a rack and go over some of this stuff. Like that. <laughs> Not everyone wants to do it though. I think that'll about do it for this. If uh, you're interested in getting solar on your rig and done right, give us a call. Check out our website, sodasolar.com and uh, fill out the form, check out our tools. We've got a great online calculator to calculate 
how much solar you need based on what you want to run and for how long. Check it out. It's a lot of, a lot of fun. Hours, maybe even minutes of fun.